it's time for inspiration. Right, you know, last week we spoke about obeying your parents. And you can't do another way. It's so important to obey your parents. Yeah? What do you see? Neza to do kile kile na jiskia na kile na jifil. Let na jifil. No, no. Because each generation here too, they, 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 they see, they hear with their eyes. They don't hear with their ears. They hear with their eyes. So what they see is what they feel like doing, you know. And why is it so important to obey our parents? Because it's right in the Lord. Because all everyone, all uh, all children, are are commanded to obey our parents in the Lord. Because that is the right. And with a promise that if we obey our parents, all will go well with us. We shall enjoy long life. And the opposite of that, you know, things will not go well with us. We will be disobeying the word of God because it's very useless to read the word of God and not obey it. We'll be disobeying the word of God and also <laughs> we'll not enjoy long life here. Yeah? But God has a purpose for us that we need to enjoy long life. So if we don't obey our parents, we're not going to enjoy long life, you know. And, and so, many, so many guys were asking me, what if indeed I wronged my parents? I'm not in good terms with them. There's a point in my life from home, you know, because what happens to you? So that's what I'm answering right now, you know, because God tells us to obey our parents. Opposite of that is just ridiculous. Opposite is disastrous. So how do you go about that? You know, because attracting God's blessings and, and your parents' blessings is very important. And there's no way you can attract your parents' blessing if you dishonor them, yeah? If you dishonor your parents, there's no you're going to attract uh, God's blessing. A good example is just Esau. It depends on which school you went to. Esau or Esau. Yeah, that is in the book of Genesis 26. You can go read that. He is in, this, this guy went ahead and married some from a community, from a tribe. His parents were not, uh, did not agree with that. And the, he brought so much sorrow to his parents. Yeah. To an extent, as in, we can even see what happens <coughs> after that. As in, Esau did not even get the blessings of his parents. Kunatu vitu zilifanyika, it ended up Jacob got the blessings instead of Esau. Because he brought so much sorrow to his parents. Because you, if you dishonor a man, yeah, there's no way you can attract blessing from them. And you'll even wonder, I'm dishonoring this person, but he's not seeing me. Sometimes, you know, they don't curse. Most of the time, actually, your parents cannot say, I curse you, child. No, they don't curse. But those tears, that sorrow that you bring in your parents' heart, that's what brings curses to you. But you can attract blessing by just honoring them. So how are you going to go about it? Because there are so many times you do not agree with your parents. For instance, me. There are points I do not agree with my parents, but we sit down, we talk, we have a uh, dialogue with them, you know. You did this, I did not like we, you sent me to this school, I did not like that school. So what can we do about it? Let us talk. They will give you their reason of why they're sending you to that school. They give you the reason why they are deciding this. So dialogue with them, yeah? But first, I will just encourage you to pray about it. My friend, go pray about it. Yeah, prayer, <laughs> prayer breaks any, any hard heart. Prayer softens, uh, softens that heart. So go pray to God. Ask God's forgiveness, you know, start by there. Seek God's forgiveness, you know. God says he will remember our sins no more. He will cast them as far as east is from west. So when God forgives, he forgets. And asau kabisa, yeah, after that, forgive yourself. Because I, I know forgiving yourself is very difficult. I've been there, done that, I know. Forgiving yourself is very difficult, especially if you do something and you know, wah, maze hapo nilikosea. So you find it so hard to forgive yourself. After forgiving yourself, now go to your parents. Just go to them. Ata wale wa skiangi, unasemanga, kuna mungina lembe, my parent is so difficult. No, he's not. Yeah? Pray. The, remember the prayers you made? It will soften his heart. So go to your parents. Just your presence is enough. Because kuna wasi wame abandon, their parents wameenda. Just go to them. Your presence is enough to soften their heart. Now talk to them. Seek their forgiveness, you know. Seek their forgiveness right now. And after seeking that forgiveness, ask for their blessings. Just the same way Jacob did. He went, approached his brother. Father, here I am. Bless me. And Jacob was blessed. 
Yeah. What shall we say more? It is better for a son who is blessed than a son who has inheritance. Because inheritance in a tu mali. Mali tu, mashamba, magari, but blessings, those utterance your, your parents make over you. Kuna tu vile God make our parents, they're like our earthly gods. So those utterance your parents make over your life, zina fatanga, zina shikanga. So once they bless you, it will go everywhere with you. Once you're blessed, it will open doors. Once you're blessed, you will, you will have so much property, you'll have so much things in this life. Yeah, so it's better to be blessed by your parents than inherit the things they made here on earth. It's up to you to decide. But there is no way you can attract blessing if you dishonor the person you're expecting blessing from. It starts by you obeying. Ephesians 6 verse 1 to 3. It starts by you obeying your parents, honoring your father and mother. See, honoring father, forgetting your mother. Honoring your mother, forgetting your mother. Honoring both of them. So it starts with that. Ephesians 6 1 three and also read Genesis verse 27 you'll get more our mother's blessing from parents and there's a big shout out to you to everyone who tuned to us they tuned to JC Sako today